Hello, and welcome to a 42 edition, 42 lessons, 42 chapter edition, I guess is what I was trying to say, a 42 step, a 42 part edition of Zach Miller Says. Here, I will be providing you with a luxury that not the entire world has yet seen. Therefore, it's near and dear and special to me. And I thought, while you're sitting at home or at work, bored, searching through the internet, wondering, what are you going to do with your life? Well, nothing like a 90s boy band look of a guy reading chapters of his book to make your day, to spark your days. Yes, my normal hair of Spiked Up is now rocking the Nick Carter of Backstreet Boys 1997 edition. I mean, everything has a comeback tour. Why not this, right? If you go look at my, like, Seneca Ridge middle school hair, I guarantee you it looked something like this, minus the beard, because I didn't have a beard back in the day. But I have decided that I will be reading chapters of Anomaly for you because uh, I want to, and I think it'll be fun. So, if you want, uh, blah, 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 if you want to listen here, watch, do it. I'll also be putting the audio up on the internet of like iTunes and Stitcher and Spotify and things like that, so you guys can listen there, or simply uh, YouTube as well. I'll take this and push it there. But the first things first. Welcome to Anomaly, How to Finally Stand Up from the Crowd, which was released just simply one year ago, 51 weeks ago, and uh, I, I thought nothing better to do than to just read it to you. So, part one of 42. Read along if you want, if you have your own copy, or you can go to zachmillersays.com slash anomaly and you can grab your copy as well. You can also listen in full there on Audible at Amazon. We'll get delivered ebooks, whatever. They'll come. And that's it. And yes, I always have The Rock looking over me because you need to have someone powerful looking over you. I'm not going to give you guys the, you know, the the first few chapters or the first few pages that don't really say anything, but maybe I will. Anomaly, how to finally stand out from the crowd by yours truly, Zach Miller. I don't understand why I always say that. Anyway, introduction. <clears throat> Here we go. I went from being miserable. By the way, I haven't read this in a year, so this will be fun. Introduction. I went from being miserable out of college and meeting people on the worst day of their lives to someone who followed a different path, the path not often talked about, the path of creating one's life. I'm married now, incredibly happy, and have created a business career many would die for. I've won dozens of awards and met and interviewed thousands of people, including Damon John of Shark Tank. All you have to do if you want to see that is type in ZachMillerSays.com backslash Damon John, or just type Zach Miller, Z-A-C-K, Miller, Damon, D-A-Y-M-O-N-D, John, and you could catch it there as well. It's a great 10-minute interview. Um, really cool stuff on how he basically built FUBU, <laughs> including Damon John of Shark Tank, who is the founder of the billion dollar company FUBU. I've talked business at the White House, hosted a TV show on ABC, signed with Morgan James Publishing to release Anomaly, and I've helped a lot of people along the way. Most importantly, I'm happy. I'm happy I didn't get stuck where so many are in a black hole that seems impossible to crawl out of. What's fun about the video part of this, or just doing this in general, is I get to make sound effects <sighs> crawling out like a tiger. Back in 2010, I was sick of working for the man over a decade ago, so I quit after 1,095 days working for a CBS television station in Norfolk, Virginia. I'd had enough. I was miserable. After work, I'd head to the local watering hole to have a few too many. You don't realize how terrible your situation is until you get out and reflect. I knew that I wasn't happy. I made a measly $25,000 a year. Colleagues at other TV stations respected me, but not the colleagues and superiors at my own station. Station is like the, um, 
the business in that case. I followed the path I was taught to walk, not by my parents, but by society, the path that urges you to get good grades in order to get into a top-notch college so that you can get, you can then get a job working your way up the corporate ladder. Of course, I went to a top-notch college called West Virginia University. You can see the stadium in the background if you're watching this. Just writing that makes me want to puke. Not about West Virginia, about the corporate ladder piece. Which is ironic because I was good at my craft, a journalist, which consisted of covering the news stories of the day, weather, and breaking news. I was one of the local celebrities recognized, recognizable at the local watering hole and even walking down the street. Hey, hey, newsman, newsman. Anyone would be envious of my position, but meeting someone on the worst day of their life, day after day, became an emotional strain on me. I couldn't handle interviewing one more elderly lady grieving the loss of her grandson to senseless gang violence. I couldn't handle the bickering of politics, the overseas wars, and the ubiquitous bad news filling nearly every minute of the news hour. Those stories had become my reality, and my reality was in dire need of a change. I mean, I haven't been in that world in over 10 years, and I really, like, I I'm not understating, like, how, like, negative and detrimental that was on my life like it was it was like it it's emotional like when you constantly see people going through that like it is not fun like it's it's terrible it's almost so terrible you don't even know how to explain it because no one else really has gr grasped it <laughs> i questioned my life choices at this point how did i end up here i felt stuck what else could I do with a journalism degree? Why in the world did I get a journalism degree? I felt like I couldn't just quit. That would be a waste of the last five years of my life and tens of thousands of dollars in student loans. I wanted more out of my career, but it didn't matter if I moved to a different city or a different TV station in the same market. It was the same job with a different location. It was the same job over and over. It was the same stories every single day. I was better than this monotony. What a word there, Zach. Way to go. Thanks, Chris Jones, for using monotony as a word there. That's my editor. And to make matters worse, I got into a little bit of trouble at work. Zach Miller, trouble? No, that could never happen. Never. Instead of being suspended or worse, fired. I had to check in with my director every day to talk about what I'd worked on the day before and what I would be working on that day. Talk about babysitting and being treated like I was incompetent. This predicament didn't help the second guessing of my career. That was also a miserable time. I mean, imagine being like, oh, hey, boss, lady, uh, here's what I did yesterday. Here's what I'm doing today. Uh, I hope you approve of it so that I can stay here and keep making that $25,000 and interview people on the worst day of their lives. Thanks. Mm -hmm. See how it all is terrible? Don't get me wrong. Through all of this, there were positives. And to the naked eye, you may never have thought Zach was going through a tough time. I won awards, was in good shape. I lived on the beach, was fresh out of college, and was mostly single. I'm married now. But I hated going to work every day and... I wanted to change it. I spent a year trying to figure out what types of jobs I could do with my skills. The same job kept coming up on job boards to do the same thing I was doing in TV. Just housed at a different place though. But now that I left my job as a journalist, the one I spent five years at West Virginia University and cashed out 80 G's in checks, or what it says is, and cashed out $80,000 in student loans preparing for, I didn't know what to do. So I jumped off the cliff and needed to survive. I was a nobody, literally. I was getting into a world where I had zero, I was getting into a world where I had zero relationships. I needed to quickly create some since my life now depended on it. Two things happened. Number one, I looked through the relationships I already had and saw where they overlapped from my journalism world and now into the business world. Taking an inventory of your life can be done by looking through yearbooks, online accounts, emails, directories, and or anywhere you have a relationship. There was a college, there was a colleague of mine from TV News whose family owned a small public relations business. They still do. It's called Ruben Communications Group in Virginia Beach, Virginia. Whoop whoop. What up, Rubens? 
I reached out and introduced myself. A decade later, that relationship is still strong. Danny Rubin, what up, yo? Also, they still are the reigning. The U- University of Virginia men's basketball team is still the reigning national champions. So little did you guys know that who, all of you Wahoos out there, you actually get to uh, have a second year of that, I guess. Number two, I read Get Clients Now. Actually, fake news there. I read parts of Get Clients Now, I believe. I don't think I ever actually finished it by CJ Hayden. She said, if you're a nobody in life or in business, that's a okay because everyone has to start somewhere. But what do you do? Boom, boom, boom. I'd like to get some sound effects in this. That would be real fun. I'm just making them. You invite those who you want a relationship with to your office through small educational events. In college, I three parties several weekends a year. Nobody wants to go to a party that sucks. If you do, tell me, because I've never met someone like that. If your party sucks, the guest you want won't show up or a bit or bail once they arrive or notice how lackluster it is lackluster to guests to get guests to my events or parties during college i picked up the phone and and invited them or texted or emailed the key is you must invite individuals and not just post an event on facebook or a flyer on a college board if you expect people to attend it sounds simple but that individual attention will increase your probability of getting guests Over the past decade, I went from a successful award-winning journalist to a successful award-winning businessman. That's me, Zach Miller. Hello, folks. I didn't go to business school. I didn't get an MBA. I didn't have a lot of money or any money, but I did have effort, hustle, and the willingness to learn and execute. All of the keys to success I learned over the past decade will be detailed in the following pages or in the following parts or chapters of this audio reading tips and tricks that have been tested over and over with different people and different scenarios techniques that will show you ways over around or through your obstacles everything that i've done in this book i've done or my clients have done um, that i directly worked with and it's exciting to see and read this again because i haven't read it in so long an anomaly is defined i mean the book is called anomaly so we need to know what the actual definition is right an anomaly is defined as something that deviates from what's standard, normal, or expected. So as a new businessman, it's in quotes there, as a new businessman, I had to be different. I had to be the anomaly. Maybe every time I say the anomaly, I'll say it like that. But it has to have the in front of it. The anomaly. I had to be the anomaly. I'll show you how I used being an anomaly, not the same as the anomaly. I'll show you how I used being an anomaly to turn myself into a well-respected, successful businessman, one who can land any meeting by following the methods and techniques in this book. I wrote this book as a blueprint, including step-by-step instructions on how to become the anomaly. I understand that most people reading this book aren't already millionaires, so the methods and techniques you'll learn about are either free to implement or super cheap. This book was written so you can go back to specific chapters when you have questions. If you get stuck on a concept, go back to that chapter for clarity. At the end of every chapter, you'll find a roadmap which encompasses a series of steps for you to take referring back to the chapter you just read. You can download the Anomaly Method Roadmap, also known as AMR. So when you hear AMR in the future, that's what I'm talking about. And all of its assets and resources at AnomalyMethod.com. You can go there right now, AnomalyMethod.com and download the Anomaly Method Roadmap. Or you can uh, at me at Zach Miller Says everywhere on the internet. So all of my handles, if all you do is search Zach Miller Says, Z-A-C-K Miller Says, and say, hey Zach, I'm interested in getting the Anomaly Method Roadmap. Just uh, message me, direct message me, do it to the public, whatever you want to do. Email me, Zach at startwithhatch.com. I will give you the Anomaly Method Roadmap. All you have to do is at me, email me, and let me know that you want it. Or just simply go to anomalymethod.com and you can get access to it there. It's a download and it's super easy to get. Disclaimer, you have to test what will work for you and your business. No two situations are alike. So just because a specific approach worked for Jane, you might have to make some minor adjustments to make it work for you. Go into this book with an experimental mind. 
set. Have fun with it. Tweak this and that until you figure out what works for you. That's the introduction to Anomaly, how to finally stand out from the crowd. If you guys want that, um, whatever I just said, the Anomaly Method Roadmap, just hit me up at Zach Miller Says or um, email me or go to anomalymethod.com and you can get it. All right, for the next 40 plus days, you guys are going to get each and every chapter um, read to you by yours truly. I hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want to listen just audio while like you're running or something, just go to wherever you listen to podcasts. And my show is Zach Miller Says. Everything's the same. Z-A-C-K Miller Says. Cross the board. Find it. Love it. Share it. Enjoy it. And uh, do something positive with the world. And uh, if there's someone that you've been wanting to talk to, just say hey. Peace and pancakes, y'all. Coming up next, part one, chapter one. All right. Peace and pancakes for now. Bye-bye.